So Bayern Munich are in the throes of a Champions League hunt. It's hard to believe they haven't won the competition in five years now, since beating Borussia Dortmund 2-1 at Wembley in May 2013. Considering that was a treble win, is it an underachievement that they haven't even returned to the final since? Yes Pep, we're looking at you. Anyway, here's the starting 11 from that game. Manuel Neuer. For about 15 years, Gianluigi Buffon and Iker Casillas seem to be wrestling for the crown of being the world's best shot stopper. Until Casillas' reflexes turned into pudding about five years ago for some unknown reason. Nowadays the battle is between Manuel Neuer and David De Gea. And in fairness, David, the German has the silverware to back it up. This is Neuer's seventh season at Bayern, although he's barely played this campaign due to injury. But yes, he certainly kept goal when they beat Dortmund at Wembley. Philip Lamb, arguably one of the greatest fullbacks of all time. I have no idea why Philip Lamb retired last season. The man is only 34 years old. He'd not only start for Bayern, he'd probably get in his national team for the World Cup too. Yes, he might look like he grew up in a house with Snow White and six other midgets, but Lamb was an incredible player for Bayern, having broke into the team in 2002. Not sure why Guardiola tried to turn him into a midfielder. I think that was just an example of Pep trying to be too clever. I wouldn't be surprised if he'd play Ederson up front soon just for the crack. Jerome Boateng. Jerome Boateng must have enjoyed this one. Two years after getting chucked out of Man City, he was back in the country, this time lifting the European Cup. The 29-year-old German international is still at the club, establishing himself as one of Europe's most dominant centre-halves, while Julian Lescott gets roundly booed like the hunchback of Notre Dame whenever he steps foot outside his house. Dante. Winning the Champions League with Dante wasn't quite as impressive as winning it with Jimmy Traore, but it wasn't far off in some people's eyes. To some, the Brazilian was a horrendous excuse of a centre-half. The fact that his only appearance in the last World Cup coincided with a 7-1 defeat for Brazil does not bode well for him. He's currently at Nice in Ligue 1. David Alaba. Again, another player who was refused to leave Bayern, and why you want to. David Alaba has long been touted as one of the best left backs in the world. Well, he's not young anymore, 25 years old, 5 years on from winning the Champions League as a 20 year old, because that is how maths work. Javi Martinez. Again, this is virtually the same team as the one in 2013, just 5 years older. He's still there, still at Bayern Munich, with nearly 200 appearances for the club. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Here we go, someone who has actually quit the club. Bastian Schweinsteiger is a club legend of Bavaria, having spent close to 20 years with Bayern Munich and winning everything in sight, the 121 captain German international went and won the World Cup the following year, signed for Man United in 2015, where he was virtually ignored for two years, before signing for Chicago Fire, where he has journalists asking him if Chicago can win the World Cup. Oh, let's. Iron Robin. I'll be honest, when Iron Robin turned up at Bayern Munich in 2009, I did not expect him to still be there nine years later, especially considering he'd already moved clubs five times by the age of 25. And yes, he was only 25. He only looked older because he started to lose his hair at about the age of 12. But no, Bavaria is his home now, and he's a club legend, having bagged the last minute winner against Dortmund at the Champions League final. The 34 year old has 138 goals and 288 games for Bayern Munich since leaving the Bernabeu. What a bargain 25 million euro signing he was. Thomas Muller. Thomas Muller is the most terrifying prospect for all teams at the upcoming World Cup. Ungainly, slightly uncoordinated, he doesn't even have a fixed position. He's also scored 10 goals in 13 World Cup games. Oh, and he's won the damn thing too. Astonishing record for a man who's still only 28 as he prepares for his third tournament. Anyway, despite links with Man United a few years back, the one club Bavarian is still at Bayern Munich. Frank Ribéry. Another who I did not expect to last this long at Bayern Munich, especially considering that when he signed for the club back in 2007, Bayern were taking on Bolton Wanderers in the UEFA Cup while he was getting offers from every big club on the market. But no, 11 years later, Ribéry is still there at 35 years of age, an adopted German at this stage, with 117 goals and 383 games for the club. Give that man a statue when he leaves. Maybe leave out the scar on his face out of courtesy. Mario Mandzukic. Ah, Mario Mandzukic, a player I knew very well from his two goals for Croatia against Ireland at Euro 2012. That was not a fun night. He opened the scoring against Dortmund in the final and did a decent short term job at Bayern for two years before moving on to Atletico Madrid. He'd play in another Champions League final with Juventus last season and boy did he leave his imprint. No medal that time though and none this time either despite Buffon trying to throttle the referee into reversing the decision.